Hello and welcome. Where are we at? To Vidana. Please clap. And also my YouTube channel. All right, we're at the grocery store, stocking up on water. My favorite little energy, nootropic drink. And then we'll head to Vidara. All right, so we're about to check in. My cousin Tommy is staying with me tonight and tomorrow night. And he actually got a free room at Vidara because he has this like mobile app where you play slots and he accumulated all these points and got a free room here. So we're about to check in. And welcome. Where are we at? To Vidara. And also my YouTube channel. Okay, so for those who don't know me, my name is Pompsy. I'm a filmmaker and vlogger who lives in Vegas. And over the last month or two months, three, four months, I've been going ham, just like staying at all these different properties and doing tours and vlogs. And today we are at Vidara, which is one of the most interesting properties out of all the strip because it's only one of two hotels on the strip that doesn't have a casino and has no gaming. Now this place is super interesting because you can actually purchase a private residence here. They sell these as condos and for the owners they actually have the option of renting out through their rental program. They have the option of renting out their rooms when they're not using them. Obviously that's up to these specific owners but that's an interesting thing that I read up on. It's located in between the Bellagio and the Cosmopolitan. Again it's owned by MGM Corporation like a lot of these properties are. Man it's just like so sleek and nice and luxurious five star opened up in 2009 I'm gonna show you the care package now and then we're gonna do a room tour <laughs> okie dokie artichokies Ugh. We got another care package, like all the MGM properties, if you've seen my past videos. Just a nice little like knapsack thingamabob. <laughs> that was loud. Okay, I gotta respect this glass, whoops. That's plastic though, so don't, yeah. it's not a big deal. So this is kind of nice. We got two nice masks. There's the hand sanitizer, and then <laughs> there are these little guys that I'm always getting heavily criticized for not using. I just don't care. I just, I, I wash my hands and I'm, I like fingers, you know? So that's just me. Okay, ladies and gents, it is time for a room tour. Let's get started. Think about the hotel. It's pretty cool, honestly. Just I feel like people come here and they really want to have like the Vegas experience, but I think this is a cool place to like come to relax. There's no smoking. There's not yeah. too many sketchy people around. Like they're just calm and relaxing. Hey, be on the beat. On the beat. Got the vice versa in the market cafe. So there's only two restaurants. Yeah. Mm. Alright guys, we're gonna head to the pool.
pool's pretty low key here, not too many people. We got served pretty quickly. Tommy got a drink, I didn't get anything. The Vidar right now is $91 for the cheapest room. Just FYI. Water's actually not cold. We just made a reservation at The Pub, which is a restaurant in the Aria. The Aria is kind of like connected to Vidara. It's right next door and it has a lot more options than Vidara. The Vidara only has two restaurants, I believe, and I don't think they're open. So that's where we're going now. Reservation for Pomparelli. What do you think? I'll give the entire experience here a solid seven. 87.4% sure that this building over here is Waldorf Astoria, which is the only other property besides Vidara that does not have any gaming or casino in it. It has a very unique look to it. So before Tommy and I head off to play some poker, I wanted to quickly kind of wrap up some thoughts. Vidara basically does not feel like a Vegas hotel. It kind of feels like you're somewhere else, maybe a beach town like Miami or something like that. It's very quiet here. And other than the rooms and the pool and the spa fitness, areas it's basically just one big room where the lobby is you have the market across from it is a bar and restaurant and then you have the lobby the hotel lobby and that's pretty much it like it's very small here i would say if it's your first time coming to vegas definitely do not stay here it won't give you that vegas feel it is a great place though uh because it's very close to a place like aria it's very close to the cosmo and it seems like cosmo aria Vidara and then Waldorf Astoria are all kind of clustered in their own little community in the downtown area of the Strip. But anyway, I'm gonna head to play some poker and enjoy the rest of my night. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night or wherever, whenever you're watching this. Cheers.